In this video, you will discover the secrets to continually increase your level of strength, which will allow you to consistently add more plates to the bar and master the most advanced skills in calisthenics. Now, if you're watching this, there are three things that can be happening. The first is that you might be experiencing extremely slow progress. The second thing that might be happening is a plateau, your training and no results. And the third thing, and this is the worst of them all, is that you are regressing. I want you to watch this video to the end, and I promise you, you will never have to experience any of these problems again. Instead, you will be unlocking unbelievable levels of strength. Let's get to the video. So, how do we develop strength? Well, to develop strength, you must challenge your muscles to produce more force. So basically, you're challenging your muscles to produce more total force during an exercise or a certain movement. And this is exactly why strength is all about intensity. When I'm talking about intensity, we're referring to strength intensity, not the intensity where you're out of breath, gassed out. This is not the intensity we're talking about. The intensity in strength training refers to the amount of force you're exerting. So the greater force you have to produce, the more intense the exercise will be. Let me give you an example to make this very easy. Let's say you can rep out the push-ups, okay? You can do 40 push-ups without struggling. If I tell you right now to drop down and give me 10 push-ups, it's gonna be very easy for you. Was it intense? Absolutely not. But what if I tell you now to do a handstand push-up? Things change because the nature of the skill is to challenge your muscles, specifically upper body muscles, to use enough force to push your entire body weight up while floating in the air. In this case, we're exerting maximum intensity. So intensity has nothing to do with volume. In fact, it's irrelevant. And also, it can be a reason why you're losing progress or plateauing. We're going to get to this in a bit. For now, remember that intensity is key. What are the three tips to skyrocket your strength levels consistently starting from your next session? Tip number one, don't train till failure. Remember, to increase strength, we have to produce our maximum amount of force to perform the movement. This means every repetition you do should be your maximum intensity, and that is to be able to produce more force and increase your strength. If you train till failure, guess what will happen? You will get fatigued. You will fatigue your muscles and nervous system. Once fatigue is present, we have lost the essence of strength training, because in this instance, you will not be able to perform with maximum intensity because of the fatigue that has accumulated. This is why I previously said volume is irrelevant. It's about intensity to produce maximum force efficient. So how does that look in practice? Well, first you don't wanna do your one rep max, okay? I think one rep max, you can do it once in a while, maybe once in two weeks, once in a month, just to test out your maximum repetition. A rule of thumb that has changed my game and strength, that was doing 70 to 80% of my one, one rep max. So I could do, let's say 100 kilogram bench press, I would do, 70 to 80 kilograms, more or less, but the point is you wanna be in that range. The second thing you wanna do is you don't wanna max it out. Let's say you can do five repetitions of handstand pushups. What you wanna do is every set, you will do maybe two to maximum three repetitions, which means you're leaving one to two repetitions in the tank. For that, you would wanna start with a baseline of three sets. So if you're doing two reps of three sets, next week you should be doing three reps of three sets. I believe once you hit the five reps, then it's time to increase the difficulty of the exercise, or it can be adding weight if you're doing weight training. And this brings me to my second tip, which is taking long rest to avoid fatigue. Between each set, we want to come back to the next set fresher and ready. And in order to do that, we want to take a longer break in between our sets. So we're looking at three minutes to maybe even five minutes. The third step is to only pick one exercise for each split. Less is more. The less you do, the more results you get. Less but efficient. Now we pick one exercise for each split and the split I usually go for and recommend you guys to do is the push, pull and legs. One exercise for push, one exercise for pull and one exercise for legs. It can be body weight, calisthenic skills or it can be a weightlifting exercise. Pick one where you go all in because later on in the session you might do a second exercise which might be more complementary to your main exercise. So for the handstand push-ups, a complementary exercise can be the barbell overhead press or you can work other muscle groups maybe you can do a bench press after doing handstand push-ups the point is that the other exercise is quite irrelevant compared to the first exercise and the one we're focusing on because the other one we're not going to be going very intense 
the only intense exercise we're doing is the one we're focusing on. So in that one exercise you pick, the whole session is revolved around that. So to summarize the video, don't train till failure, take long rest between sets, and pick only one exercise for you to split. Now things can obviously get overly complicated, and you really just want a training program where you can just follow, don't have to worry about changing it, and having to constantly modify it to ensure that you're increasing your strength, unlocking band scale standing skills, building muscles all at once. But if you're a busy person and you can't handle that, don't worry, we're here to help you. This is what I've been doing with my previous clients over the years. We set everything out for them. Of course, we keep modifying every week and every month to ensure that they keep making progress. All they have to do is just perform what's given to them. If this sounds interesting to you, then you can apply for online coaching. The link is down below. Otherwise, if this video was helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.